Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting this little sketch house scene that I did. Jen Crafts actually sent me a, a lot of their watercolors and paper to test out. So I that's I'm going to that's what I'm going to be doing today. Literally they sent me so many watercolors and like for super it's super cheap too. And honestly, I was not having high hopes, um, but I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of this paint. Like, it was extremely pigmented. Anyway, um, so this is the scene that I'm gonna paint today. And along with this, I got these two brushes that you can store water in if you like soak it. Um, but for this, I'm just gonna use a jar of water because it was easier for me. But as you can see, um, I'm starting with the sky, which I always start with, and like the paint already is just really bright and pigmented. And I find with like a lot of, you know, beginner watercolor brands or brands that are like a lot less expensive that I feel like I need to do lots of layers to get really rich and deep colors. And with this, I really didn't. Like, the pigment was, like, super saturated and well done. So also, another helpful tip, a lot of times the colors that come in these palettes tend to be super bright. Like, the greens, I find, are always this sort of really electric green, which, depending on what you're doing, can be good. But I paint more, like, quote-unquote, realistically. So I actually want my greens to be like not so bright and like electric because that's not how greens in trees and grass and plants actually look. They tend to be a little more brown. So here I'm showing that I'm how I'm mixing all of my different green colors. So I tend to add lots of like blues and definitely brown like Van Dyke brown or raw umber or burnt umber are all really good pigments to mix with your standard greens so that it just creates more of like an earthy color. Next, I always like to check out the pinks because I don't mix with white with watercolor, so I wanna make sure the pinks are really saturated and these do a great job. And now I'm gonna start adding some final touches like the tree trunks, and I'm gonna start adding my shadows. And for this, normally I mix my shadow color, um, but they had so many colors. They had like a cool purple, a warm purple. I picked a cool purple to use for the shadows for this. And um, it, it looked like the purple that I normally use in my other paintings, so, and it was actually easier because I didn't have to mix it. So I'm adding some of the tile details on the house here is the final result. Like it's so bright and saturated and it just, it actually looks really good. This was just like a quick 30 minute sketch that I did. I think it turned out really well. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks.